Hi guys. <laughs> okay, so I feel pretty much uh, better. Aside from this cough that sucks uh, to no end. So, happy witchy, is it Wednesday? Yes, happy witchy Wednesday. So, um, I have a little surprise in just a second. But, alright, mask magic. Now that I'm really getting into it, I am. I've reread, re yeah, reread, I reread. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm making my own language. Um, I reread um, The Call of the Hornpiper, just the section on mass magic. Um, I have uh, actually started, I'm actually halfway through um, the Alistair Crowley book. And it just did so much inspiration, so much inspiration. That man was in insane. And brilliant. <laughs> so, kind of have my uh, my uh, teeth sunk into that book for right now. Um, as far as um, the Shanghai candles, I have two sold already. Um, so now they are just uh, made to order. So everything is still the same on the website. Everything, uh, the Shanghai everything. So um, also, what else was I going to tell you guys? There's like a, a incredibly like amazing new people on the channel and I just thank you guys for being you guys and you're just all incredible and just so much so much knowledge. You guys are so knowledgeable and it's it's very humbling. Very humbling to uh, wake up and see you guys. See all your comments, uh, every, just everybody. We all, we can all coexist so amazingly on this channel, so uh, thank you guys, you're amazing, fucking amazing. So I have chosen my myth, which is going to be Penn, um, it's going to be Penn's story of how he got, you know, he was born and, you know, his father rejected him and, you know, all that. And he became the trickster and he became the seducer and so I can really get into that. Um, I can really, 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 really not really, yeah, role play basically. I can really get into that and really um, benefit, I think, personally from this story, from uh, Pan's story of being rejected and then uh, becoming, you know, um, the god of nature and uh, all of that. So I just think it's going to be very incredible, very incredible. So, I have chosen my story. Um, I have yet to get a mask. Um, I'm either gonna... I'm probably just gonna... I don't know, I have a Mardi Gras mask that I might decorate. Um, I'm not sure. So, um, what I'm gonna do though, when I actually create my mask, I'm gonna do it within a traditional witchcraft uh, context. So, uh, my outline will be a traditional witchcraft um, outline. Um, so basically, um, I will uh, lay my compass, um, starting in the north, going around three times counterclockwise, making the snake sound, the coiling of the snake, the serpent coming up. Um, I will do that. Um, I will invite in my ancestors, um, definitely Pan, I will invoke Pan. Um, I will do the call of the, oh, the invocation of the witch mother, the witch father, and Pan. And yeah, I think that, you know, make my intentions uh, very well known, create my my sacred space, um, and then really just, you know, whatever m m objects we use, uh, down to the glitter, glue, all of it, um, I'm just basically I'm just going to empower it with uh, my own energy and uh, the energy within my compass. and pan's energy and yeah just i'm gonna try to see how i can uh transform more in inner demons into uh inner demons through the whole entire uh pan's story so i think it's a very good a very good one i love it i love pan so that that's incredible i, I just everything is just so heightened 
lately, and especially being um, diseased in the body. I know I'm not gonna say sick because I'm not sick. I have just disease within the body, and it's gonna storm, and I'm pissed. So yes, um, I think it'll be completely incredible. It's very incredible. Um, have you guys ever watched The Chemical Wedding with Aleister Crowley? Or, well, The Chemical Wedding? Yeah? No? Some of you? I know some of you have. Oh my god. That is... That is very, uh... I, I'm finding big uh, parallels um, coinciding with his life, my life, <laughs> not to the extent of his, uh, yeah, not to his extent. No, not, none of the drugs or anything. Um, but yeah, Chemical Wedding really inspired me last night. I mean, it just completely just inspired me for some odd reason. I mean, I've seen the movie a thousand times, but it completely inspired me for just, it, it kind of got me back in touch with that inner primal energy, um, uh, you know, that, you know, connectedness, connectedness, relatedness to the entire world and with yourself and then parallel dimensions, universes, it just, it all popped up. Um, it all popped up and it all made a lot of sense and it just kind of made me view things a little differently now. So, I'm very, very excited for that. Um, this is a phenomenon. I'm gonna have to reread that because I'm actually rethinking my entire theory that he doesn't exist. Um, if archetypal energies don't, well, archetypal energies are just an embodiment of something just negative, so. I'm rethinking my uh, my thoughts and theories on so so. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to actually reread the book um, more times, numerous times, definitely, to kind of grasp a little more because it's just it's, there's just too much. It's, it's just too much. So yes, um, I don't know if I can leave multiple. Uh, reviews for the book on Amazon, but if I can, uh, Darren, Rosemary, um, John, I do, I definitely want to uh, give you guys another review because it's just incredible. It's seriously, it's a very incredible book. So, um, yeah, it just, it made sense to me that an archetypal energy is here. It's, it's out here. So it, it doesn't go away. <laughs> and just like a evil, uh, will never go away. Good will never go away. The sun, the moon, uh, the stars the, will never go away. Um, so going back to Carl Jung, yeah, an archetypal energy is here to stay. So I, I don't want to call it so, so, but it, it, it already has its, you know, its name and it's named and it has power. And so there could be more than just the mind to the entire Zozo phenomenon. Um, I just, I think it's a very, very interesting that uh, my thoughts have completely changed. Um, I went from, no, Zozo's fake, to, okay, maybe he is real. But, I, I, I just, I don't know yet. I have got to reread and do some more research. And I think it's just a crazy, crazy. Um, a lot of people are asking about the book to get if they want to get if they should get it. Yes, definitely. Um, you guys seen my opinion in the book review. <coughs> and you guys see my opinion changing over the past couple of days or the week. Um, I just, there's gotta be more to it than that. So I just can't dismiss it now and say, okay, I read the book one time, uh, so he's fake, I can't. I can't do that. There's too much, too much out there. So I, I think it's incredible. Um, so yeah, that's very incredible, very incredible. So 
Um, what else? What else? I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's Witchy Wednesday. It is Witchy Wednesday. Gotta have the coffee. So yes. Um, I'm getting to everybody's emails. Definitely getting to everybody's emails. <laughs> Finally, um, since I'm feeling a lot better, obviously, uh, so I will be more interactive um, through the website, um, through here, um, just everywhere. So definitely, definitely on more, more active. Um, so yes, all your guys' thoughts and good, good vibes are incredibly. I'm just very grateful for them. They're very healing. But... Yes, I know. Falcon. Yeah, I can remember your guys' names. I can remember your guys' names. Some. Some. Brian Blood Rain. Can... Weird... Ass fetishes... I think that's your name, which I completely... Are you from Fat Life? Because if you are, awesome. You, you completely found me from Fat Life if you did. I think that's cool. But um, they... People are interested in your ritual now. So um, that's up to you. That's up to you. Um, I won't give it out. Um, it's yours. Um, so that's between me and you what, you know, you shared with me. I won't give that out. So you go ahead and you can answer for people. <laughs> and you can tell them yes or no. Uh, and then there was one comment I woke up to today. I actually slept in today. 7.30? Instead of 4.30 to 7. And then I went back to sleep. And then I woke up at 10, 10 o'clock. So I definitely fucking needed sleep. But there was one comment that I did wake up to that completely made me like, just, it just made me ecstatic. Um, EBKJ, I cannot believe I can remember that. Okay, your comment was along the lines of, um, but you, every time that you watch a video of mine, um, you feel better. Okay, you guys know how OCD I am with my nightly ritual, even being, and I, if I was on my deathbed, I would still somehow, some way, get that nightly ritual, OCD ritual done. So, um, I've said it before, but um, every every night I have um, made it a point to focus on you guys. Um, in my astral temple, in my mind, I have a name for you guys. Um, it, it's not really a name; it's like a group of beings of like just radiant colors um, is how I see you guys and I always um, ask source spirit God um, to you know make sure when I'm doing my videos that I radiate that gratitude and that compassion and that love so that you guys can uh, receive what you guys give to me so all the love and everything, it just, just ricochets back and forth, back and forth. So I do make that quite, quite a, damn it, quite a big um, intent and um, thing. So yes, you guys are all, all of you, even, you know, my horror family, my Ouija family, um, all my friends, um, this friend base. All of you are included within it in my nightly OCD ritual. So, um, being OCD, it's not gonna stop. So, I just always, you know, just ask, you know, Source, God, Spirit, um, to make sure everybody that watches um, somehow gets inspired or feels better or gets healed or just, just all good things. It's always all good things. Prayer for you guys so um, I don't know if that's got any 
thing to do. I've had to rip this fucking thing out of my ear. I don't know if this has anything to do with how you guys feel. The, you guys say that you feel so much love for my videos. Um, but I mean, I do. I pour my passion into these for you guys. So I just think it's fair. It's only fair. And you guys are awesome anyway, so you guys deserve it. I, mean, I wish I could do more, but... So that is, uh, I really like that comment. That was a very good comment. Very incredible. Uh, very sweet. I thought it was very cool. So, and everybody's, everybody, just, it, it, it's incredible to see all these people coming together in times, in the, you know, in the, it, it's sad that it takes such a tragedy to bring people together. Um, we were already all together and, you know, uh, loving one another and all the good stuff even before this all happened so but I mean it's just incredibly s I don't know it, some of it seems fake that certain people will come together just because of a tragedy um, it, it just seems fake to me and scripted in a way um, so I don't know I don't know, it's still, it's still very heavy, it's still like, I don't want to go outside, I don't want to go anywhere really, it, you just don't know where, you know, what's going to happen, <laughs> but no, I'm not scared, you know, I'm not scared, I don't care, if, you know, they're going to shoot me, then be my guest, be my guest, don't like the way I dress, whatever, shoot me then, no, I'm kidding, totally kidding. But, um, so, the book, The Confessions of a Mad Men, um, is underway. It's gonna happen, so I think you guys will get a kick. A huge kick. And it, I will warn you, it is very... It is not my, my way of thinking. I'll say that. It's not my way of thinking, it's not my ideas, it's not my ideals, it's not my beliefs. It's from an outside source, uh, person's person. So it'll be incredible, and it'll be fun, and it should be funny. Um, but all, really, all together, I want it to enlighten people and show people, you know, how terrible um, alcoholism is, and what it does to people, and how it affects people and their families, and it destroys lives and, and your body and your mind um, in excess. So I think it's you know. It'll be cool. It'll be a good one. I like, I like my idea. I think it's stomach. It's hungry for a soul. I told somebody that the other day. No, it's because of these weird antibiotics that I'm taking that's supposed to take care of all of this. And the cough. It's not. Well, day two. Day two. So. Um, yeah, it's a very strange antibiotic. Um, I've noticed that it's like you get little like zits around your piercings. Obviously, um, it's cleared them up, <laughs> so that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm good. I'm doing good. A lot better than I was. Alright guys, um, Witchy Wednesday will continue in just a second, so I will see you guys in just a minute. Alright, hi guys. <laughs> I'm feeling better. So, I've already, we have, uh, yeah, we've done our, our code, so I'm going to see what she has to say, if she has anything to say for us, and just a universal message. All right, Ganny, are you still here? Okay. All right, do you have any kind of universal message for just all of us? Just, I know it's crazy times and just anything to, 
I don't know, any any healing that you can just send out to anybody that's in need or just any kind of universal message for everybody watching. Everybody loves you, by the way. And I know you know that. Hi. Oh. Oh. V. E. Y. all to I T M A K E S U S A L L Never uses the R E C O M I N G T O G E T H E R I N T H E S E T I M E Okay. Um, I did not get a lot of that. <laughs> so, okay. I'm um, basically, you're very happy. It makes you guys happy in your spiritual dimension and your heavenly dimension that we are all coming together basically in love. Yes. Okay. Is that an L? L? O. V. E. W. I. L. L. W. I. N. Love will win. A L W A Y S always yes I completely agree that love will always win <laughs> the sun Okay, is there anything else? Any other kind of messages? Oh. 
F E A R N O T G O I N G A N Y P L A C E F O R Y O U A R E A L L P R O T E C T E D F E A R N O T T H E M T H I N G S A R E E A D W E K N O W B U T T H I N G S A R E G O I N G T O C H A N G E F O R T H E B E S T T Wow A K E A L L T H E H A T E A N D T R A N S M U T E I T Okay. Wow, that was um, incredibly fast. Incredibly fast. Um, I didn't catch a thing of that, so um, I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to watch it. All right, Ganny. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can you send uh, healing to all those that are in need through the board for all the afflicted? And also everybody that's sick right now. Okay. The 
the sun. Alright, Ganny, thank you for everything in advance, for what we've learned, for your, uh, your message, and for the healing and the love. Um, so I will talk to you later. I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I love you very, 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 very much. And that felt really, really, really good. Alright, guys. <sighs> that was very refreshing. That was very refreshing. I needed that. I needed to get on the board. <sighs> and now I feel great. I feel, well, I don't feel great, I'll be honest. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I still feel like shit. But, um, I don't know what she said. It went too fast. She went way too fast for me. So, um, I'm definitely going to have to transcribe that message. Because I felt it was very positive. And I just... Very cool. Very cool. Witchy Wednesday. So, I thought that would be very, uh... Something that we could all benefit from for, uh... Witchy Wednesday. Just so, you know... All the negativity going around in the world. We need more love. More love. So, I know I shouldn't be smoking. But I can't help it. I love it. Yeah, I do. Honestly, I do. It's sad, I know. Sick and very sad. But, one day. One day, maybe. Maybe later, maybe sooner. I'll stop. But, <coughs> yeah, all night, all night long, cough, cough, cough. It's like, oh my god, give me a fucking break. Before it ripped my head off. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I found it just, you know, being, you know, I, I find it necessary that we make ourselves, um, or catch up, you know, a cold or something to this extent, um, I think is very, very transformative and very, uh, alchemical, if you guys understand that. Um, I think it's very alchemical, very transformative process, um, creative, a creative process. Um, like I said, if I'm completely happy, if everything is going perfect, something's wrong, something's wrong, that's just my belief. Nothing can be perfect constantly. There's got to be something negative to bring out that passion and that creativity again. So I think that's what's happening. And it, it feels good. Good. So hopefully tonight um, I will have a generalized outline for the mask magic. Um, and I do hope to create another, another story. Um, I have a couple books that I'm... I actually, I have way too many books that I'm sinking my teeth into. Um, Alistair Crowley, Do What Thou Will. Moonchild, The Golden Bow. Wow, a lot, a lot of stuff. So, um, what are your guys' thoughts on Crowley? Chemical Wedding and all that. Um, I, I find it fascinating. I find him completely fascinating. Uh, just not some of the, some of the practices that he did were, I wouldn't do. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I thought it was an incredible, incredible movie, so I'm, I don't know, I don't know. He's very ceremonial, um, very biblical, which I don't vibe with well. I do not vibe with at all. Um, but I did take... Um, 
what was it? James 5. I can't read that far. James the healing, um, I told you guys about the healing oil and everything. I did fashion that into a charm. So I kinda what I do is I read those those verses and I kinda in my mind called on uh, Lucifer. Um Azazel, Pan, um, and I just kind of seen this group of beings, positive light beings around me, um, while I did um, that passage from the Bible and went around with the that oil stuff, that oil stuff, the healing of the sick oil and the blessing oil. Um, I find it. I find there's a lot of magic within the book itself. So, I don't know. The, uh, that's uh, Crowley. Um, I found that to be very interesting, so I don't know. I don't know. But I think that is it. So, yeah. You can do that too. You guys can fashion a charm from Bible verse, just kind of re, uh, I don't know how to put it, reword it, or like I did, um, instead of, you know, it says call on the elders, um, I did, I called on the elders, so it kind of, I felt better for that period of time, um, still said person, nope. So, um, that will be in the Confessions of a Madman. That definitely will. So, I will definitely, I'll fucking print the book myself. Because it's just going to be very short, like a pamphlet. But it's going to be funny. And it's going to be creative. So, yes. Alright guys, um, throat's starting to get sore, so, as I take a puff off my cigarettes. Yeah, I'm just done smoking. I love you all very much. And thank you guys for watching. And all the newbies, welcome to all of this bubble of love. And yes, I'm going to post that picture of me opening the book of The Zozo Phenomenon. So, I think that's incredibly weird. That, that, that kind of made me think more so all right guys i hope you all have a great day um i hope you all stay safe please take an extra precaution mace mace taser i don't know just be safe um and i love you all very much and thank you guys for watching and for all the new people um all your knowledge is incredible I love it and I'm soaking it in. But Brian Bloodrain, that uh, ritual for the energy, I love it. Thank you. Yeah, that you're you got a place in my heart. <laughs> all, all good love, platonic. Of course, Alistair is calling me. No, I'm kidding. Alistair made me do it. Perfect. He made me do it. Now, I can't even scapegoat that. Alright guys. <coughs> I love you all very much. <coughs> I hope you guys have a great day. And be safe. And take your vitamins. And if you're sick, hurry up and go get antibiotics right away. I don't want to see you guys sick. So, alright guys. Um, this is very long witchy Wednesday, so I love you all very, very much, and everybody just have a great day, and I do, I do love you guys very much, so thank you guys. <laughs>